Ooh, what's up guys and of course welcome to another video from me this calendar and today we're actually gonna talk about my opponents I'm going up against uh, this week or actually I'm recording this like Sunday morning it's I think it's like 7 a.m. yeah <laughs> pretty much Ugh. and uh, I'm going up to these guys today basically and um, the thing was here and probably what makes this thing a bit more interesting is that um, my opponent here is not Kelly or the Maryland Torteras. Uh, it's definitely not that. But um, he is a guy named Nick, which is actually a ba battler I battled before. Uh, I think it's called himself Greninja Gaiden on Twitter. We battled before in the LBA tryouts, and I barely won that battle. And I will say this, my opponent here is... Uh, had he gone, you know, he'd gone his way and not... I think he missed two very important plays. And the um, result of that was that, of course, that he lost. And um, that is, of course, very, very unfortunate. So we are basically going to look at his team. And he has made three changes, uh, as you guys can see. He actually... Tangroved and Dusknaw, Registeel and Mega Ordino is not a part of his team anymore. He actually switched those out for Zedublade, um, Verision, Vivillion, actually, and Mega Jardos. Now, Mega Jardos... I had no idea that Pokemon wasn't picked because Mega Jaros is extremely dangerous. Um, it is, can really hold its own, can Oko a lot of things up to one uh, Dragon's Dance. So that's something we need to keep our eyes on. I do predict him here. Just getting, just look at my own team and then look at his team. Uh, the, my feelings I have is that he's going to bring Sissel, Raikou, Arcanine, Starmie, Hydreigon, and, uh, well, the Mega Jaros. Now, he could switch out his uh, Sissel for Jubilee, maybe. Uh, that's a thing. Uh, but that's really all I see to it. Uh, he's definitely going to use Stormy. And that thing is going to be way dangerous really early on. And I'm going to give my own team a good look before we actually decide you know, what's going to happen. Uh, there, there I am. There I am. So, right. The Scandinavian Stotelands. As you guys see, we actually have... We have been doing well, though, after the demisive loss against Murkrow. And just going through, I had a game idea going against Kelly because it's Mega Audino that I would use Magnuson. But his team is not that slow anymore with the change of Versian and whatnot. So I need, I need something scoffed. So I'm going to go for, like, this is the pre-team already. Thunderous is a given here. Scoff, Thunderous to outspeed, Stormy to outspeed Versian if he decides to use that. And basically outspeed everything in his team. Even with a scarf, I'm actually able to outspeed a plus one Dragon Dance Jardos. So that's something I'm gonna keep in mind. Um, Mega Garchomp and Scolipede is um, like I really want to try these guys out. I know it sounds weird, but I actually only need a Sword Stance and um, a one, no, actually two Speed Boosters, and I should be good to go with Scolipede to, to the Mega Garchomp. Uh, and if that doesn't work, I do have. Black Sludge on my Scolipede because it's a bit defensive and it can't sweep on its own if it's forced to do so. It only needs one speed boost to outspeed Stormy. Um, it only needs one speed boost to outspeed Hydreigon and a Mega Horn, Horn Oko's, though, no matter what. So that's the last resort, really. So those three are gonna make it. I don't want to bring Sigilyph here because it does have access to Raikou and Raikou can really, really do some damage here. Dianne is important, but since he has Scissor. Uh, I really don't want to take a super or a bullet punch there. I think that's gonna it's gonna whittle me down fast. Uh, so I'm, yeah, these three guys is definitely not gonna make it. Um, Chansey, Chansey and Keldeo. Now they are both great actually, but don't see Keldeo helping this spell a whole lot uh, because it just. It isn't fast enough. Stormy outspeeds it. If Hydreigon is scoffed, it's going to outspeed it. I don't want to scoff Keldeo. Uh, but Chansey is a good go-to escape plan if things are working. Hydreigon is super annoying to deal with. So, yeah. We're going to go for... Um, we have to have T-Wave, though. I don't think we can't get away with... Since he has two Steel types, we can't go for Toxic. So we're going to go for Chansey, and uh, we're going to at least T-Wave all that comes in. Uh, Stormy usually have natural cure, so that could be annoying actually. But I do believe that's our only real issue. So that's a good thing. And I should have wished Chansey, uh, because I actually read this up back before uh, actually planning this team, that uh, wish Chansey actually, or rather wish worked like this. 
if you have a lot of HP and you wish it, then there is your HP, you have your HP that you're wishing from that's gonna come down. So my chance has about 360 at level 50, so that means 180 is the recovery basically. So that's a good thing. Like I did not, I thought um, actually that it worked like this that wish is 50% um, of the um, Pokemon, but it's actually 50% of the Pokemon that used wish. Which means that Chansey is one hell of a wisher. Uh, could definitely help out Hippowdon, since Hippowdon can take a few hits. So yes, Hippowdon is going to come here. So Hippowdon is a defensive wall after all, and probably the only one who can face Scolipede. And Dewblade if he decides to go with that. Um, Hippowdon should be able to take a Dark Pulse, uh, if it isn't Specs. Great Good should kill it, uh, I'm sure. So, um, so Scolipede, Mega Jarchomp, Hippowdon, Chansey... And it's between Keldeo and Stoutland, and I think it's no competition. Stoutland is a good... Like, if, if things fails, Stoutland is the one guy can kind of lean on here. Uh, Stoutland has superpower that... Oh, it doesn't... Oh, it occurs with, uh, uh, with Choice Band, uh, but it doesn't oco with Life Orb. But I think I forced to have Life Orb here, because he has... Like I said, um, he has a ghost type with a Dewblade. Dewblade has one of those things with a lot of immunities. And if Dewblade is a late runner, then Stoutland can stop it. So we need to have Crunch at least. We can't be locked into uh, normal or fighting moves. And you know, we can't switch in his Tommy. If it survives long enough. Um, I, can only, I can outspeed most things in the sand though. Um, Stoutland should definitely... I think I need Hazards up. If I get the rocks up, I should be fine. Uh, for Stoutland to kind of sweep. But I don't want to go for an unnecessary superpower and lose my defenses. Uh, we're immune to Shadow Sneak, but not the Bullet Punch. So Bullet Punch is going to really sting. I do believe Scissor kind of win a lot of these matchups. Uh, it's going to come down to... Um, or actually, I know exactly what I need to do. We need to, I'm actually going to do a damage calc here. Um, let's say now that, um, I hope you guys can refine the move the mic a bit, but let's say that, for example, um, Mega Garchomp, if I'm forced to go 1-1 one -one against that, um, let's see, Mega, 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 oh, you mixed, but not really, uh, I'm probably going to be very fully defensive, so we're going to have a 216 and at least... 40-ish defenses because that's actually necessary. Uh, something around that is what I'm using. And there uh, we go. And going up against the uh, Sea Sword. Uh, and I'm going to expect him to be banded. Uh, Superpower does. Wow, it, it at least is 50%. It is at least 50%. Let's see. We're going to go Adamant, of course. Um, and Flamethrower. I just want to secure that, you know, this is a go-to plan. It is not a KO. It is not a KO. Um, that's unfortunate. But it's a good way. Like, if it comes down to that, if my if my Mega Garchomp is um, in a good range of HP, uh, it can't switch in on it, but it can win against it 1-1. Uh, he's forced to go for Bullet Punch to do damage to me, so I need more than... Uh, more than around 50% and then I can win that matchup. I won't switch in on it. Like, I I, I care about points. I want a 6-0 victory, but I also know my opponents are good, and I also know that, vic that those stats doesn't matter if you win or lose. Like, the losses or wins, it was matter the most. Um, but I need Flamethrower. I should force myself to Fire Blast. But the thing is, like, if I miss a Fire Blast, why well, is not... It is isn't unlikely that something like that could happen, then, uh, I mean, I'm done for here. I am really done. There, There is no change after that. That fact is going to take me down. <sighs> but I think that's my best bet. Like, I need Flamethrower. I can't, like, Firefang, please. Or maybe, I, I mean, it wouldn't be the first time stuff works. Uh, okay, Firefang can actually kill, um, but also has a bit of an unreliable. We're actually gonna go with the Dewblade too. Like I do believe, or actually Dewblade, I just should just EQ, but I do believe Dewblade can take two Earthquakes. 
Dewblade or your sword stance set, the standard, fully defensive. That's right, if it is... I do... I do respectable damage. I do. And Shadow Sneak doesn't do more than... Yeah, at most 20%. Hmm. That means if I have to have at least... Like, if I have to wish switch in, I need at least like around 50 HP to survive a Shadow Sneak. Um, that's important. That's important. Uh, Sacred Sword... Alright, yeah, that's a Shadow... Oh, right, Stab Damage would be... This would be real unfortunate to switch into. This does like a one-fourth of my HP. Uh, should I invest more, maybe? I could do... I, I don't want to lose my speed, but... This should still be a 2 hit KO. And now we have at least a fighting chance. Right? Ah, uh, isn't really helping. I don't want to go full defensive either. But I think that's my team at least. Like, we're gonna set up that. We're gonna make a lengthy video yet again with nothing really. But, um, like I said, I can't use Tianchi because of um, the bullet punches. I can't use Magnuson because of the. Jarados with, uh, of course, Earthquake. I can't use Sigilith because if it decides to go for Raikou, the Raikou is gonna eradicate my team rather easily. Uh, even Hydreigon can deal with Sigilith really easily with Specs, Dark Pulse. So Thunderous, have that scoffed. Garchomp, basically try to pass speed boosts to it so it doesn't... so he can outspeed everything on his team uh, because he's really fast now with his new team but not that bulky, so we can kind of force hits here. Since Godchop has 170 base attack, that should probably dent something real bad. And he probably don't have things screws up, and Chansey to take care of damage, and I guess Stoutland, Godchop, oh, Stoutland, he probably don't combo, basically just survive whatever comes our way. But yeah, that's it. Like, I'll get, I'll upload this, that video or that battle today uh, once that is over, and um, this video is probably going to come up a few hours before the original video comes up, so that means I already had our battle, and you obviously know whether or not I won in a few hours. So I want to thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in a few hours. Till then, take care. Bye!